Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, somebody sent me this video. Uh, the Muslims, they are uh, trying to be funny supposedly and trying to be more friendly. And they are trying to give you uh, uh, like a, a different way of deception that, you know, Muslims are people who they are open-minded. Uh, Muslims are not what you think. Uh, Muslims are very friendly people. And uh, you know, I, I look at this video, which uh, they have a they have a comedy show. Supposedly, it's, it's called Muslims is coming. So through this comedy show, they will show you that Muslims are not what you think. Muslims are very nice people. They are very friendly, etc. Now, if I look at those who they are doing the comedy show, I was looking for the Muslims in the show. <coughs> Uh, those are Iranian, you know, Persian, who came to USA, ran away from the Islamic regime. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay. So, you yourself, you run away. Look, look at this girl. Look what she is wearing. Look, you know, you, you can see the, the half of her back. And this is just a normal clothes in the street now. So, God knows what she will wear if she go party. Look at the other Muslim girl there. Those are Muslim girls. So those are the ones trying to present Islam to us? Can they really present Islam to us? Who are you to present Islam? Because you are born from a Muslim family. It doesn't make you a Muslim. The same as many Christians. They are born from a Christian family, but they have nothing to do with Christianity. You know, the, the Quran says clearly, the one who don't obey Allah and the Prophet, he is a kafir. So they try to fool you, a bunch of idiots, you know, and I'm sure they have nothing to do with, with Islam. I, I don't think the, 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 the topic is... Uh, uh, you know, uh, I think they're trying just to make some money, but I'm sure many of those Americans they will watch those uh, the, this uh, comedy show supposedly, and they will laugh and they will see Muslims are very friendly and look the girls are wearing very short skirt, and they are like us they look like us they are wearing short they you know they they laugh they joke and uh, they are very nice people but the fact this is not Islam and those are not Muslims. What Islam have to do with those people? You know, I, I watch I watch this uh, this show, and I was looking for, you know, where is the Muslims in the show? There was they have nothing to do with, to do with Islam, you know. Where we can find Islam in here? I don't see it. Hilarious. <laughs> responsibility for things they could have never done. You know the eclipse. We did it for Allah. The goal of the tour is to go out to middle America using comedy, reaching out to people beyond our community. And give America this big Muslim hug. Come on, America. Yeah, hug a Muslim. Yeah, hug a Muslim. Yeah. I want to practice this in, uh, uh, in Pakistan. Hug a Muslim. I want to see how much they will hug me when I say to them I'm a Christian. I want to hug a Muslim in Saudi Arabia, especially in Mecca, when I say to them I'm a Christian. They will be hit me. But, you know, you see, silly, silly stupidity, ignorance, and I'm sure many of Americans, they will, they, they will fall in that, that, in that crap. What does this have to do with, you, you are a Muslim? This woman, she is a Muslim? A Muslim, she would do that to herself? You know, maybe some of you do not know what, what's happening. A Muslim, she don't wear hijab. She is, according to Islam, she is a whore. A Muslim, even if she put the perfume, she is a whore. And I can tell from the uh, from from the name that she is a Persian. You know, those are Persian people. You know, actually, the first people who hate Islam in the world is the Persian who come to USA, and the proof is those people. Because if you love Islam, why you don't wear the clothes of Islam? Why you don't practice Islam? If Islam is good, if you if you consider yourself as a Muslim, how come you don't want to be a Muslim then? Nobody is forcing you in USA to be something else. Nobody in USA forcing you to wear this clothes or to put this makeup or, or to do whatever you, you know. Nobody forcing you not to be a Muslim. So why those Muslims, they choose not to be Muslims? Oh, they want to have their own Islam. They are Muslim by names, but in the fact, they don't care. And then you are telling me that you are a Muslim? No, you are not. Because the Quran say clearly, and let me show you. Chapter 3, verse number 32, from the Quran. Say, Obey Allah and the Messenger, but if they turn away, Lo Allah, love not the disbeliever. You know? You know, you can, you can find different translation if you want. Any translation you want. 
it's it's an obligation for a Muslim. It's a must to obey the orders of Muhammad. Muhammad he says the women who don't wear hijab beat her. Muhammad he said the one the one who don't uh, uh, practice Islam kill him. He's a kafir, you know. So so those people according to Muhammad they are not Muslims. So how you come to me and you try to present Islam to me when you are you yourself you are not a Muslim. Uh, you know there is many verses actually in the Quran you know saying to obey to obey uh, to obey uh, Muhammad uh, and the 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 one who don't obey Muhammad simply he is out of Islam but just to show you if if those people are real if those people are about real like you know they hug a Muslim we love you we are good people we love everybody I don't know if they know the religion or not but mostly I think they are just a bunch of idiots they want to make money good for them you know uh, the, the, uh, the the one who make money from the fool, uh, it's always good for him because it's you know it's not a, it's not your excuse to say I was a fool to even go and uh, pay for uh, seeing a show which have nothing to do with reality. They will make you laugh, laugh about what? I have no idea. Like if you if you go and see their comedy, they did not make me laugh. We did it for Allah. Yes, you did it for Allah. They did it for Allah. This is real. Right now in your country, Iran, there's more than 12 Christians just just been arrested two days ago, or a few days ago, and they are going to be executed. And many priests, many many Muslims who convert to, to, to Christianity and became priests, they will be executed. Though are, they are going to be executed according to what? According to Allah. So yes, we did it for Allah. Your comedy is a bloody show. It's a fact. It's reality. It's not funny. And look, she want to tell you that when I give you a hug, uh, you know, feel good. Uh, yeah. Come on, America, bring it in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. Man, that feels good. <laughs> People don't notice minorities usually until I'm either in the audience or one of them has a hit song or does something horrible. Mm -hmm. People do not notice minority until somebody did a song or did something horrible. You know, first, who's talking about minority? What, what, what minority those people are talking about? We are not talking about Muslims in USA or Muslims in China or Muslims in this place or Muslims in that place. We are talking about Islam. You see how they try to fool you in your mind? They say to you, it's about minority. It's not about minority, you idiot. It's about ideology. Who cares what the minority you are belong to? Who cares? Me, myself, I'm an Arab. How come I'm not going to blow up myself between those Americans? How come we don't see one Arab Christian want to blow himself? Give me a reason then. What the difference between an Arab Christian and an Arab Muslim? Why we Arab Christians, we don't commit suicide between the infidels? You know, if you want to know who's an infidel, for me, the Muslims are infidels. The Buddhists are infidels. The Hindus are infidels. Don't tell me there's no infidel around me. So how come we don't do it? Uh, by the way, they might mention to you the guy who shoot people in Norway, you know. This, this guy, he's not a Christian because he killed the Christians. Not even one of those 77 people he killed was a Muslim. All of them are Christians. I remember they show you in the, in the TV an Iraqi girl. That Iraqi girl, she was, she was a Christian girl. She is an Assyrian, Babylonian girl. She is, an, uh, she is a refugee in, in, in Norway. So they make a story about it to make you believe that somebody is killing people who they are Muslims in there when the fact not even one of them is a Muslim. And the proof, I changed the Muslim to show me one name of those who was a Muslim. The 77 people get killed. So that guy actually was killing Christians. He is no Christian. He is just a racist, filthy, ignorant man. Muslims, they try to fool you and they get those people around them to make a propaganda. We are not talking about minority, we are talking about Islam. And there's a huge difference. Do Islam teach violence? Absolutely. Do Muhammad teach violence? Yes, absolutely. Do the book of Allah teach killing and hate? Yes, absolutely. And the proof? In the front of our eyes. If we go in the Quran, and we see chapter 4, or chapter 5, verse number 14. What the verse saying? I want to see those Muslims who are telling me, uh, they want to give me a hug. Okay, you know what? I want to give you a hug too. Here we go, your book saying, From those two who call themselves Christians, we did take covenant, but they forgot a good part of the message. 
that we sent them. So we strengthen them with enmity and hatred between one to the other to the day of judgment. You want to give me a hug? You, you want to give me a hug and your book saying that Allah he is going to target us Christians and spread the hate between us? What I would do with your hug? You want to give me a hug and your book saying that the Christians either have to be killed if they don't convert to Islam or they have to pay jizya? So what these people are talking about? Then when somebody speak about a Muslim, you know, we need to know, to know what, they, what, what they mean by saying, I am a Muslim and I want to give you a hug. What does that mean exactly? Are you, do, you, do you have a different religion? Do you have a different uh, prophet? Or the Muhammad is your prophet? You see how they try to fool you? So, you know, a Muslim want to give me a hug, but you know what? You, you want to give me a hug, what I would do with it? Is that would change your religion? As I said, those people, they are a bunch of ignorant, a bunch of, you know, losy uh, generation of Islam, and they want to convince us that this is Islam. Well, we are not talking about you, and you are not a Muslim. I bet you this woman in the video, she have 10 boyfriends before. What does this have to do with Muslims? Muslims are not somebody, his name is uh, uh, Abdullah. Muslim is somebody he believes in this book. That's it. Same as a Christian. Somebody he believes in the Bible and he follow it. Not somebody his name is uh, whatever. Look at this verse. Chapter 9 verse number 5. Put anyone to death if they don't accept Islam. They have no choice. Attack them, take them captive, kill them, and, and, put, them, and put them to, de to, to death for not accepting Islam. What do you want more? Now, you want to give me a hug? And you are saying that slay those who don't believe in Islam? Or what I would do with your hug again? Or what about Ibn Kathir in his book, uh, Your Prophet saying, if you see a Christian in the street spit in his face, force him to walk in the sewage line? What, what is the hug? You know, I'm trying to justify the hug they are talking about. Trying to find where Muslim he being ordered to give a hug for somebody who is not a Muslim. I want to see it. I want to believe in it. Is that your Quran saying that those who don't believe in Allah are filthy? Is that your Quran saying that we are not allowed to enter or to get close to Islamic holy places? If we get there, we are going to be killed. And this is the law in Saudi Arabia. If you try to enter Mecca or Medina, they will kill you. Your blood is for free. Is that your Islam saying that? And what about fighting those who they are Christians until they convert to Islam or they pay jizya with subdued, with humiliation? For what? Just because they didn't believe in Allah. And you want to give me a, a hug? In which bank I'm going to deposit your hug? In the, in the bank of stupidity or in the bank of ignorance? To order to fight people of the scriptures until look guys the Muslim they say to you it is tax it is not about forcing Islam actually they mentioned to you that Islam says there's no conclusion in, in, in religion which is a false statement that, 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 that verse in the Quran actually was for the benefit of the Muslims they asked Muhammad if a child is a Jew his family they can force him to be a Jew he said no you cannot force him to be to become a Jew it was for the side of Muslims and even this one later he abrogated because everybody have to be forced to be a Muslim anyway by the, by the verse of the sword so fight them until what? until they convert to Islam or they pay the jizya not because they are fighting you as the Muslim they say and the Muslim want to give me a hug uh, you know I feel like I want to cry look what their prophet said don't initiate salam to the Jewish and the Christians fight them because they choose not to embrace Islam with defeat and so, uh, so, look 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 on the humiliation and not only that, Muhammad he said, uh, uh, Muhammad said, read with me, the Prophet said, don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians if you meet any of them on the road, force them to the most narrow alley, which means go in the sewage. They force you to walk in the open sewage. In that days, they have an open sewage on the side of the street. <clears throat> and the Muslim, they were telling me, in their comedy show, give a hug to a Muslim. You are right. I believe you. I go in right away to believe that Muslims are very peaceful people and Islam don't teach hate. Christ is Lord. Don't forget to get my book, guys. And my uh, variant number two is coming out soon. Christ is Lord. Islam is false, I mean. See you soon.